Hi guys, it's Dave, founder of myebook.co.za. Today's video is going to be centered around using CreateSpace and using CreateSpace to actually create uh, discount codes for your readers. This is going to be really handy for authors who might be speaking at events or appearing on television or radio and feel it's a great chance to give um, loyal readers um, and new readers a chance to buy their paperback book from CreateSpace at a discounted price. Now, these discount uh, coupon codes will only work through the CreateSpace store. They won't work through CreateSpace's distribution partners, even Amazon. Um, so you would have to direct people to the CreateSpace e-store, not the Amazon store. But very simple, very straightforward. Let's get into it. So you logged on at CreateSpace. I'm going to log on now. Okay, so we've logged in. We're on the member dashboard and the next step is just to select the title that you want to create the discount codes for. So I've got mine here. I'm going to click on this and get taken through to the... Once we're on the project homepage, this is a page where you've set up your title. You can adjust each of the fields from the description to the cover to the pricing. It's sort of a summary of, of, of the paperback and uh, you can tweak anything from here. The next step for us is to hop into the channel section. That's right over here. Okay, so we are in the channel distribution screen. This is where you pick who's going to sell your book, whether it's just linked to Amazon, just the CreateSpace store, or everything together. Um, obviously, it's best if, if everything's selected. Um, the only one that is not normally selected is the library and academic institution because that needs a CreateSpace assigned ISBN, which I'm not particularly fond of. So once we're in the channel selection screen, you'll notice these two interesting fields. E-store setup basically means you can change the look and feel of the page that sells your book, adding colors and banners, uh, you know, specific to things you like. So uh, I'm not going to go into that now, but have a look at the store setup it's going to make your store look even better what we're looking at is the discount codes so let's click on that and here we are this is where the magic is created you're now in the discount code section this is where you take a code um, and decide if it's going to be a percentage off 20 percent off your title or maybe dollars off so if you book is selling for 19.99 you know give the guys a good discount give the guys a good 20 30 percent discount that'll really incentivize sales and help you at a promotional event to make a bit of uh, excitement around your title so if we scroll down now it's asking you to enter the code um, this doesn't mean you make up the code this means that we have to actually create codes through a separate section right over here where it says click here this is where we have to create the code that we're going to be inserting over there. So let's now it's just created the code and added it to a bunch of my already existing codes. Uh, you can create as many of these as you want, depending on exactly how you want to structure your discounts and your and your giveaways. Um, obviously, I've blurted out just so that uh, I can keep those codes safe. So let's see the codes we've created. Okay, so this is the summary screen of all the codes we've created. Now, you can create many codes. Obviously, the reason you do this is one code would give you 5% off, the next code would give you 20% off, depending if it's a, a new reader you're trying to attract or maybe rewarding your email subscription list um, that you built up. So, I've blurred them out once again. What we would do is once they've created, we would copy them. come back to where we assign the codes, paste the code, decide what we're going to do, whether it's a dollar or a percent off. If it's a percent, let's give them a 25% discount. And we would save the changes. And then you can issue that code out to as many people as you'd like. Obviously, we are able to delete that code. So if we insert that code, and there it is, guys. Um, I've taken the code that I've just created and copied across from the other screen. I've inserted it here. I've decided it's going to give my favorite readers a 25% discount of my title. And I've saved the changes, which means this code is now live. I can give it out to as many people as I'd like. And um, as you can see, you have full control over that. You can delete it from here. So this gives you full control to create and issue codes. 
As I mentioned, it's only valid through the CreateSpace eSource, so make sure you have that link handy. 